Hi, this is Shadi. We often talk of the older generations and how they had a more wholesome judo, technically more rich and self-defense oriented. This story is a prime example of how the older generation were ready physically and mentally for the toughest and most dangerous situations. In his book, The Fighting Spirit of Japan, published in 1913, E.J. Harrison writes of an anecdote told to him by the legendary Sakujiro Yokoyama. It says, I remember that during the first days of January 1909, I went to a certain restaurant accompanied by Mr. Kyuzo Mifune, a fifth Dan Kodokan teacher. We noticed in a corner of the room a group of 13 young men drinking sake. There was an elderly couple and some other visitors eating. We observed that the members of the mentioned group are putting their heads together, whispering while looking in our direction. We do not listen to them, nor do we suspect that they are plotting anything against us. Mr. Mifune and I went to chat over our drinks. At this point, one of the rascals came up to us, calmly picked up my overcoat and hat, and tried to take them from under our very noses. Of course, I protested. When the thief insisted, in the midst of the altercation, his threatening demeanor arose and he was quickly joined by half a dozen of his companions from across the room. Since there was no alternative, Mr. Mifune took matters into his own hands. He avoided any unnecessary roughness, but in less than a minute he had all the troublemakers down with a succession of quick jabs. Then the rest of the gang noticed me, but I also took them down one after another. And the whole thing was over in less than three minutes. The elderly couple who had been interested onlookers told us that they have just witnessed a practical jujitsu display for the first time in their lives and were amazed at the marvelous feats that the experts performed. They were able to perform against all odds. On that day, Kyuzo Mifune and Sakujiro Yokoyama were more than ready to face the odds with mental serenity and with technical and physical superiority. Whether it is striking techniques, self-defense drills, moral education, or endless rounds of randori, judo should be practiced as a wholesome art that prepares us for life's challenges, for self-defense and for the betterment of the world, and not only for sports competitions. We still have a lot to learn from the early pioneers of judo. This was Shadi, and thank you for listening. Please like this video if you found it informative. It's the easiest way to support me, and consider supporting me on Patreon to keep this content going and evolving. Thank you.